centre of the course, coming on electric finish. Do it again. He's coming at Rainbow Bridge. He's a board leader and he will do it again. The next race is uh, at uh, 25 past three, the seventh race. Stay safe with a mask. FM 87 handicap for fillies and mares over 2,000 metres. And uh, to declare early, uh, Graham's numbers 4, 1, 5 and 12. I'm very much the same, but not in that order. I'm 12, 4, 1 and 5. So our quartet numbers are, uh, are the same, but uh, we, we've got to you take could, the box to quartet. You could be quartet. absolutely right. You know, I'm a great uh, Diamonds and Pearls fan. Uh, she's been really good to me. I've always thought that 1,400 metres was her best trip. And yeah, they are going for the first time in a career past 1,600 metres, going the 2,000 metres. She is a daughter of Jackson. She's super consistent. She loves the poly, so she could win it. I've just got a little bit of a reservation about whether she'll see it out. Uh, but if Shane Humby is putting her over 2,000 metres, then I'm sure that he's confident she will see it out. Uh, but yeah, I've gone for number four, Catch a Falling Star. We had Glenn Cotson on the show a while back when we were previewing the East Coast Handicap the East Coast Cup for Phillies and Mares when she ran seventh behind my RB Gold. And he was quite upbeat about this daughter of giving me the green light in terms of her ability. Beautifully she's lightly bred. raced, she's beautifully bred, she's got Anton Marcus, uh, and 2,000 metres seems to be okay for her, although she's yet to win over that trip. I guess the one they've all got to beat is number one, Connect Me, Gary Richards Philly. That, she sets a standard. She was uh, narrowly beaten from a hopeless draw by Perfect Air last time out. Her only course and distance run delivered a second, so she's equally at home on the poly over 2,000 metres. She's cracked a good draw, so, you know, she's the one to beat. She sets a standard. So, although I've tipped Catcher Falling Star to beat her, Connect Me, Healthy Respect. Also, Healthy Respect for number five, Irish Wonder Girl. Good uh, comeback run. Good comeback run. She ran second in a penultimate start behind Perfect Air. But if... If Diamonds and Pearls is equally or even more effective over 2,000 meters than what she's shown to date, then you could be on the button. She could be the one to beat. So I've included all four of those in my play. It's probably the right thing to do. And, and I think we've touched on the four horses, the principal contenders. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be interesting to see how she goes, Diamonds and Pearls. Connect me. I'm glad you touched on her because how consistent. I mean, that run to perfect air was particularly eye-catching for me. Yeah, and she raced from the widest draw of all, and that was at Scottsville. But as I said, she's equally at home over this trip, this track and trip. And given the fact that she's drawn pole position, Jason Gates can position her wherever he wants to. She sets a standard, as I said a moment ago. She sets a standard. They've got to beat her. Uh, but, she, you know, there's obviously Catch a Falling Star, Diamonds and Pearls, Irish Wonder Girl. They will make sure that she's, she has a race. In numerical order, one, four, five, and 12 could possibly be the boxed quartet. 